Hi, I'm Katie Pruder in Public Affairs. Today was a big day for the Bonneville Power Administration because we installed the first of 14 anemometers that we're placing around the region to help with wind forecasting. We did that out at the Trout Hill substation. A lot of media showed up and there was lots of BPA folks there, so let's have a look. Oh, that's cool. Well, we're out here today basically to install the first of 14 uh, sets of sensors that we're going to be putting on these towers that you can see uh, right, right in front of me here uh, in an effort to get a better bearing on uh, what the wind in the region is doing. What we're going to use it for is basically to help our wind forecasting program, and it will be additional data points that will allow us to get a better bearing on what the wind is doing at surface height. Today we're going to have somebody climbing that 100 foot tower to install this anemometer. It's one of 14 that BPA is installing throughout the region to help forecast wind. We've been working with the wind developers to enhance our forecasting because it helps us bring more of this green energy into the region. So the purpose of these is not to necessarily help with where to put wind turbines, but rather it's to help better forecast the wind energy that's coming in line. So I'll give you the kind of the simple explanation of that is um, you can only harness wind power when the wind blows. And of course it doesn't blow all the time. So you have to have another source to back it up. And typically that has been the uh, federal hydro system, the dams. So um, backing up wind power by holding water behind the dams hasn't really been a, much of a problem um, until recently anyone who's driven down the Columbia River Gorge has seen all of those wind farms popping up. So there's been a lot of wind coming online, and we definitely support that effort. And so one of the ways is to help with forecasting, because um, it lets us hold less water behind the dams and reserves when we know what kind of wind energy is out there. That's good for ratepayers, that's good for fish, and of course this green um, wind energy is good for the environment. It seems like there's a real national focus on green energy right now, but obviously here in the Pacific Northwest, that's been near and dear to our hearts for decades. And so um, Bonneville Power Administration has been working with the wind developers to increase that amount of wind energy coming in. And this is a uh, small part of an overall plan. Um, it just happens to be a very visual symbol of our efforts to um, help with forecasting, but there's all sorts of other things that BPA is doing to help bring wind into the region.